Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're gonna talk about an update on Netflix. Okay, guys. So today is gonna be the third week I talk about Netflix. I'm not gonna say I told you so, but I told you so. And, and they got some big news coming out. They got uh, it might not matter to y'all, but it matter to me. But they got got a bunch of black content coming out on Netflix coming up. They got Sister Sister, Girlfriends, Moesha, a bunch of other black sitcoms coming to Netflix this month. They got the Jamie Foxx movie, the Superpower movie coming out this month. Um, the Umbrella Academy came out this month. Uh, Last Chance You came out uh, coming out this month. So it's like, I see a lot of up potential for streaming hours, watch minutes on Netflix coming up this month that's gonna bring a lot of attention to that platform for people to sign up to just even do a free trial or to hold or to re-sign their um, monthly subscription with Netflix. But let's just go ahead and dive into the charts that we drew up last week. So you guys don't be confused on anything. You could go back and watch the other two videos to, sh to show you how true these charts are. And then we're gonna um, take a look at it on any place that we can make this week. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, here we are YouTube over on Thinkorswim. This is the four hour, 180 day chart. I mean, every bar on here is four hours worth of trading time in the market. And this is over the course of the last 180 days. So we zoom in right here. Of course, that's when Netflix had an all time high. And then the earnings report came out, had some bad news in the earnings report and it dropped all the way back down. We drew this uptrend line of the very first week that I talked about Netflix that it touched. Let me show you guys why I drew this uptrend line. So we started here, it touched there once, two, three, four, and then five times right there. And when I drew this line out last week, this bar wasn't here and then it touched again for the, what, sixth time, seventh time. So we knew that it was still in the uptrend. It was just overvalued right there and pulled back to a value where people thought Netflix was a, at a good steal. So it did bounce right here. I told you guys that it might not be a good time to get in, but if you want to risk it, you could if you wanted to. Netflix can still fall back to its old resistance line and use it as the support or continue to use this uptrend line as the support in the 180 day simple moving average is also online with the uptrend line that we drew a long time ago but as i told you guys last week was to look at two time frames so let's go to the um one hour 20 day chart so right here i said either netflix was going to go up and use this green line as the resistance line or it was going to come back down and use this line as the support so as we're looking at this line right here it did come up and use this the 180 day simple moving average as the resistance and i said that i will wait until netflix breaks above the 100 breaks above and close above and then have a confirmation now I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys all of this stuff in future videos but just follow along right quick breaks above close above and then wait for a confirmation for you guys can have a great buying opportunity on netflix so it went up, it touched, it never broke above, it went up and touched, it never broke above. It's still using the uptrend line that we drew as its support, and it's using the one hour, 20 day simple moving average lines as its resistance. So that's, that's, that's just the play on Netflix this week. Let's zoom back out. Let's say you did want to get in right now and not wait for confirmation. It always do your risk to reward. So let's say you're willing to risk five percent right here five to six percent loss set your stop loss right there if it breaks below if it breaks up below the uptrend line that we drew and come back down to this old support if it breaks down below this old support at around minus six six and a half percent just go ahead take your losses and wait for the next setup but always have your reward outweigh your risk okay so look for a 12 percent gain and then take profits so my rule is to have your take profit double your your risk so if i'm willing to lose six percent i'm not going to sell it until i can make 12 percent. and right now that look very reasonable if it doesn't look reasonable don't take the trade if you want a three percent gain be willing to lose 1.5 percent 
all right so in that manner that's a simple way to trade just by looking at it in that manner so if you want to get in now and not wait on any confirmation make sure that you have a good risk to reward ratio so you that you don't really feel bad when you lose and you only take one uh, win to outdo two losses you understand what i'm saying one win to outdo two losses because your win to your your risk to reward ratio outweighs each other okay all right so that's the play on netflix this week nothing super major just wanted to get out that the, all the good news that was coming out for netflix all the the black sitcoms coming to netflix and the umbrella academy and all the other last chance you and the jamie fox movie coming to netflix so it, that's good news that they got a lot a lot of content coming out some original content um with the Umbrella Academy and the original movie with Jamie Foxx. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they got a lot of other stuff coming up, but that's all I read about. Always do your own research before you take a trade. Don't take my word for it, but I'm, I'm gonna say, I told you so. <laughs> but other than that, if you wanna keep up with me and Netflix and any other things I trade with, make sure that you scroll down, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, so that you guys don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.